Hey, we begin with a woman attacked by dogs counting her blessings tonight. She says she's traumatized by the incident but feels lucky to be alive. And she hopes that sharing her story will remind dog owners to be more mindful of their animals. I feared for my life. It's been two days since she was attacked by her neighbor's dogs in Eva Beach. But the victim, who asked not to be identified, says it's shaken her to her core. She's coping with more than just the physical scars. I can't stop thinking about it. I can't eat. I can't sleep. I'm so traumatized by it. It's just so, so horrifying what has happened to me. It happened Tuesday night around 5.30 p.m. when she was taking out her garbage. I let my rubbish can down and out of the corner of my ear, I heard my neighbor yell. And by the time I realized what was happening, I looked to my left and there was two dogs advancing on me. I was kind of paralyzed for a second. She says she was about to drop her gray garbage bin here when she saw the dogs about 10 feet away. So she tried to use the garbage can as a barrier to prevent the dogs from biting her. She was focused on trying to keep them away and moving across the street. I mean, I didn't feel the bites. I had no idea really that they were biting me. I thought, oh, I'm getting away, I'm getting away. It wasn't until the rubbish can knocked me down and I fell on the ground that I'm dead. That's when her neighbor finally showed up to grab his dogs. But the damage was already done. This wound was so gaping that it required five stitches. So there's other puncture marks here, several. She has bite marks along her right and left legs, her right arm and her right buttocks. It's excruciating, yeah, especially this leg when I walk and I can hardly sit. But she knows it could have been worse. But I thank God that it wasn't the children in my neighborhood or the elderly people because we have care homes and elderly people that walk in our neighborhood. She says dog owners need to be responsible for their pets. Dog owners need to make sure that their dogs are contained and cannot get out. She has reported the incident to the police. I reached out to HPD and the Hawaiian Humane Society to find out how this case is being classified. If this is deemed a dangerous dog case, the dogs could be taken from the owner and he could face fines of $500 to $2,000 and or be sentenced to 30 days in jail.